remember this. A year ago tomorrow, Utahns were jolted awake by the Magna earthquake. Now, a new state study has revealed some things about that earthquake and the Wasatch Fault that we all need to pay attention to. Fox 13's Ben Winslow is near the epicenter of that earthquake with the exclusive story. Ben. The past year, experts have been studying the magna quake and they've learned some new things. Like the next one, you may feel a lot more. It looks like this earthquake most likely was on the Wasatch Fault itself, which is unusual for us to record an earthquake actually on the Wasatch Fault. The 5.7 magnitude earthquake struck at 7.09 a.m. on March 18th, 2020. It was epicentered near Magna. Since then, scientists have recorded 2,590 quakes in the sequence felt across the Salt Lake Valley. The Utah Geological Survey, University of Utah Seismograph Stations, and the State Division of Emergency Management have been studying it. They've learned a lot. For example, the Magna Fault Line is just a branch of the larger Wasatch Fault. We think of the fault being as over next to the mountains on the east side of the city, but it dips to the west. Um, so it dips underneath the whole city. And because it's dipping at a shallower angle than we previously thought, it's closer to the surface than we thought it was. And so, therefore, the earthquakes are closer to the people. Research scientist Catherine Whitten says that means the shaking in future earthquakes along the Wasatch Front could be a bit higher than previously thought. I would say a bit more. Yeah, we're, I think we're going to feel it a, a bit more than we thought. Scientists say it gives us all new things to consider when it comes to building codes. And all of these aftershocks does not mean the pressure is off when it comes to the big one. We still have a 50% chance of a 6.5 or up to a 7 um, magnitude quake here along the Wasatch Front within the next 50 years. The state says take steps now to prepare, including having an emergency kit, making sure your furniture is secure, check out unreinforced masonry, and remember to stop, drop, and hold on in an earthquake. Putting a flashlight and sturdy pair of shoes by your bed uh, and keep them there at night because we don't know if the earthquake ha happens at nighttime. Have a communications plan with your family meeting places uh, outside of your home and check into um, uh, earthquake insurance because regular homeowner insurance does not cover earthquake. Now, the state is hosting a virtual town hall on the one year anniversary of the Magna earthquake tomorrow night. We'll link you to it as well as other information about how we can all prepare for the next earthquake at fox13now.com. Live in Magna, Ben Winslow, Fox 13 News, Utah.